Hello everyone, my name is Karen Vigreux and today I'm going to present you the studio project of my internship. Probably like you as a child, I dreamed of working with cetacean, but with the time I discovered the different threats which weigh on these animals. Pollution, collision with boats, incidental capture in fishing gears. Cetacean are top-level predators that regulate the population of lower trophic level by a top-down regulation and are also sentinel species whose health status is used as an indicator of the health status of marine ecosystem, according to Wales and All 2004. They are threatened and their disappearance will cause an imbalance in many ecosystems around the world. According to the Pelagis Observatory, in 20 years, the number of stranded cetacean on the Atlantic coast alone has doubled, reaching 1,500 individuals in 2020. Keep this information in mind, we will come back to it. Let's now look at the Gouffe de Cap Breton where my internship at Apex Research took place. And during the expedition, they have seen several times pilot whales coughing. These animals are frequently found stranded and we don't know why. One of the hypotheses is that the stranding is due to a disease caused by a bacteria. The problem is that few studies are carried out on the microbiome of these animals, so we don't have a reference to know if it's a bacterium from a healthy commensal flora or not. So this is how the project was born. Our objective was to participate to the collection of this data in order to better understand them and protect them. Our second objective was to develop a new technique, a new sampling technique, to be able to approach them and collect data without touching them. During this internship and during the project, Apex Research and I collected samples of pilot whale's breath using agar plates attached to the end of a pole and had them analyzed by the Bioestérel laboratory in Mougins. But before showing you our results, let me introduce you my team. Clément Broust, animal behaviorist specialist in Cetacean, he is the director of Apex Research and my supervisor. Ines Doriac, a marine biologist responsible for the research department of the association and Alexis Risotto, the skipper of the boat, also a marine biologist. We were supported in this project by Orca, a clothing brand for marine sports and financial support of this project, Apex Etasi, an ethical whale watching company that provides us with equipment and a local, Marine Land, a marine mammal park that finances the analysis of samples and helps us with their advice and experience, and finally Université Nice-Côte d'Azur, where I come from. But let's go back to our sampling. Among the results obtained on two groups of individuals, we found Edward Sella Tarda and Staphylococcus warneri and aureus, which could be potentially from animals and also pathogenic causes. The results also show that the sampling technique allows us to avoid too much pollution of the bacteria present in our environment and which does not disturb pilot whales' behavior. So as you can see, we had not enough data to be able to perform a statistical test this season. The main goal of this first sampling was to test and validate the protocol in the wild. The current one actually is more adapted to pilot whales, which are easier to sample because they behave more quietly at the surface. But like many cetacean, pilot whales migrate and are only present here from March to early May, which limits the sampling season. So this study project will take place for two years and a half, during which many sampling will have to be done. And with a large collection of data, we will then be able to define with more certainty which bacteria are from a healthy microbiome of this animal and which not. So there is still a lot of work to be done, but it's a great opportunity to work with marine mammals at sea during an internship. Thank you all for watching this video. Thank you to the team of Apex Research for this great opportunity. Have a nice day. Goodbye.